You've done one of the craziest things ever, which is you just announced that you were on Epstein's flight. Like you're the only person I think that was like, hey, I was on. <laughs> yeah. Usually people were like, hey, you were on. And you were like, no, let me let me just tell everybody. Great plane? It was a plane. Yeah. Uh, I, I, no, it was not. <laughs> I don't know. First of all, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to impress him, know. right? He's no, I mean, it, it, it wasn't like a big plane. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, I've been on Donald Trump's plane. Nice. Which is, well, it's like a 737. Yeah. It's like, a, it's not like a little G6 or something yeah, like yeah. that. It's <laughs> wow. I love it. Holy flex, shit. Right? Just flex on him. <laughs> a little G6. Okay, but give the context, obviously, to the Epstein thing, because you basically yeah, got out okay. ahead so of the... What I, so first of all, I, you know, I'm a New York for most of my life. Yeah. So, and I you run into everybody in New York. I mean, I knew Harvey Weinstein. I knew Roger Ailes. I knew O.J. Simpson came to my house. On yeah. the, Bill Cosby came to my house. You also knew you, good people. Yeah. We just I, I, knew, I, I did know a lot of them, but you know, you don't know these people are swamp creatures until all this stuff comes out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, OJ's innocent. Okay. Yeah, 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 OJ yeah, has done yeah. nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> Wait, do you know something? <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. So you're you're hanging oh, out. So these, anyway, these your best uh, yeah. Enjoy. So in 1993, <laughs> my wife, um, who has since passed away, Mary Richardson, she knew Glenn Maxwell, and I forget exactly how, but she knew she lived in England, and she, you know, she knew Glenn Maxwell, and she said to me, I. We we were going to Palm Beach to visit my mother over Easter, and she said that Glenn had offered her a flight. So we went on the flight, and um, and we flew down there with them, and then we stayed with my mom. And I, well, my kids were all on the flight. This is ninety three. Yeah, don't look like that. That's terrifying. That's yeah. crazy. I mean, in retrospect, yeah, that's crazy. I, I, yeah. But with them, my, I had very, very young kids. I don't know. Um, but anyway. <laughs> they, <laughs> they made it worse. <laughs> yeah. They, um, uh, yeah, the, the stuff didn't come out about him until I think 2006. 2006, yeah. So that's 13 years later. Nobody yeah. knew at that point. Yeah. And then sometime in the next year or two, I can't remember when, um, I did another flight with them because they had, they, Glenn had called my wife again and said, we want to do like an adventure this weekend. And uh, yes, and I said, do you want to go fossil? I knew a paleontologist who worked on the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota. Yeah. And I had wanted to go out there and do fossil hunting. And I said, do you want to take the kids fossil hunting? And what an awesome weekend and, activity. Yeah. So we flew out. We went to... Um, we went to uh, to Sitting Bull, which is the big you know, mountain that they've caught. We went to Rushmore, and then we spent a day uh, fossil hunting, which was really great. My my son found a skull, almost a perfect skull of a saber toothed tiger. But Epstein at that sometimes night, you say things that my brain can't even comprehend, <laughs> yeah, as if they're so normal. You said I saw <laughs> no, no, no. Banff. I you lost me at Summered Inn or whatever. <laughs> but the fossil hunt was crazy. Epstein on the fossil. Was that the first uh, time he's well, looked for old? That's that that the first time I spent time with him. Oh wow! And I um and I I realized he was uh, creepy. Was he okay? Go. He got, and I it, I'll tell you two things that happened on that flight. First of all, when we got to um, when we got to Rapid City, there were two cars, rental cars, waiting, right, SUVs waiting for us to take us out to the fossil hunting. And he took one of them for himself, and then all of us were in the rest of them. Hmm. Hmm. And he didn't actually fossil hunt. He he stayed in that car, and then he would get out and be on his cell phone. When we were at Rushmore or something like that, and uh, and when we were fossil hunting, then all the kids filled up boxes with fossils, and, they, and we had a great time. But he was not a participant. And then on the way back, I was asking him about how to, how he made his money because I knew that he had been a teacher at Dalton School. Yeah, and he told me that 
Um, that and I asked him, and I knew then he was the money manager for Les Wexler yeah. uh, on Wexler. the limited. Yeah, yeah, on the limited. Yeah. So I said to him, "How did you go from being a math teacher at Dalton School to to that?" So, okay, good, good. And he said that some Chinese people had uh, um, had approached him, who had been taken advantage of by American grifters, and they had lost a lot of money. And they asked him to find the money for them, and he succeeded in doing it. And that was uh, how he had. That was the launch pad for his career. So that didn't make any sense yeah, to me yeah. <laughs> because it just raised 50 more questions. Like, how did the Chinese guys find you in, in, yeah. at Dalton School? So anyway, that, you know, when somebody's talking to you and you have a meter that is like, this doesn't make any sense. And he, he told me something else on that flight, which was, I said to him, uh, I asked him about something about investing in the stock market. And he said, I don't invest in anything on the stock market unless I have inside knowledge. Hmm. So, and I had just met him. And he was telling me that he was He's committing loose. federal crimes. Yeah. 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 Only uh, insider trading. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and then the plane landed in, in Chicago. We thought we were going down in New York. And it landed in Chicago and he got off the plane. And there was a limousine waiting for them, or a Mercedes waiting for them there, and it had a very beautiful blonde, like very beautiful woman standing next to it. And he said, my, plane, my plans have changed, I need to go to Europe. And he got a fire plane, and they took the, the Mercedes to another plane on the tarmac, and he and the girl got on it. And Glenn was sitting in our plane crying, and never explained it. Um, but I just thought that he's a creep. Mm. Yeah. What do you think her involvement in that whole... I have no idea. I don't have any information. My kids... Did you get a vibe from her like you got from him? No. I didn't. So mm. you see... Sometimes but I, I don't know. I mean, I also... I, I mean, I wasn't thinking about it. Of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I knew, you know... I, I felt like... She was raised in wealth and privilege, incredible, yeah. on top of the aristocracy, and everybody knew her. Her father and, is Robert Maxwell. Robert Media Maxwell, Talks and then him. Robert Maxwell and her brother, who was the heir apparent. Robert Maxwell then dies in this very weird way off a, off a boat. Yeah. And in the Mediterranean, it could be suicide. It could be, you know, something else. So, um, and then uh, the brother then, and they find out, then his whole empire collapses. And it turns out that he's been stealing from yeah. the labor unions and the entire fortune disappears. Yeah. And Glenn then comes to the United States. You know, it's hard oh. for them to live here. And she comes and, and I think she, this. my impression was that, and I don't know, she was always wonderful to me and, you know, kind. Uh, but... Again, you, you never know about people. But it seemed to me that she was looking for somebody, you know, who to replace the father who had wealth, et cetera. And, and then, you know, Jeffrey was the kind of guy who would test... Your loyalty? Your loyalty by, you know, continuing to push you to the edge from what I know about him now. So... Mm. I don't know much about what happened to him then, you know, other than what I read. It's not a big interest to me, but my kids were very, very smart and well-informed and not a conspiracy theorist like me, right? <laughs> yeah, One yeah. of my older kids said to me, he was definitely killed. Oh, who? And I was, it was Connor. And I said, and I was shocked to hear him say that because usually... When I say to him things to him, like, you know, <laughs> when I say something to him about, he's skeptical of me, <laughs> right? So, yeah. and that's their job as kids. You yes, want yeah. to raise kids yes. who don't just believe everything you say. Absolutely. And I succeeded in doing yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> so, Easier for you than most. <laughs> yeah. 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 So anyway, he's very, you know, He's very grounded, very well informed, and he, he said to me, it's "Jeffries, it was definitely a murder." 
Yeah. Well, because of the, the weird circumstances. There's too many weird yeah. coincidences. Follow-up question real yeah. quick about yeah. this. There's all these people that are kind of with Epstein a lot. You picked up on a creepy vibe from him immediately. Do you have any judgment toward a guy like uh, Bill Gates who's associated with him a lot and either, do you, like, do, are you like, nah, you must have seen some creepy shit and looked the other way? Because I picked it up very quickly. Like, what are your thoughts on that? Especially yeah, I don't, after. you know, I don't, yeah. I, I try to stay away from that kind of speculation. Like, if you look at my book, Anthony Fauci, uh, I tell people what I know happened and what can be documented, but I, I never connect the dots and say, oh, he must have known or he was motivated by this or that. I try never to look in people's heads. But I did see creepiness immediately. I don't know. The other thing is, and I think Jeffrey um, immediately realized that I was not a, a, a target, that I was not, you know, I, oh, yeah, that I was You couldn't not, be an asset. He yeah. couldn't manipulate. That I'm not going to, yeah, yeah. That I didn't have interest, that I was like, yeah. you know, interested in building Riverkeeper and, you yeah. know, so I don't know. Yeah, and and... Yeah, that's that's also interesting that you kind of, I don't want to say checked him, but you were vetting him. Like just asking him where the money came from. Mm. Yeah. I think immediately is like, uh-oh, this guy might be able to smell something yeah, fishy going on. Here. Exactly. Yeah. And he, he's not going to wow you with money. Yeah. yeah. He's not going to wow you with experience. Bitch-ass G6, get yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>